morning. It's uh, April 14th, and we're going to go ahead and transplant these uh, giant Marconi plants from these uh, 16 ounce cups to uh, 32 ounce cups. And I did a video yesterday on uh, topping our giant Marconis. You can see here the tops have been snipped out of that to produce uh, side branching. You can see the, the side shoots starting to come out. Sorry it's a little dark in here. Um, it's still, uh, it's around 8 o'clock and the sun's not come up on this side of the house yet. But I think we're pretty good with the... You can see, kind of get the gist of what's happening. So, uh, we've got some that I haven't topped. These will probably be the ones I sell. I've got a lot of friends wanting to buy some of these from me, and my neighbors want to buy some. So, you can see that one's still got the tops in it, but for ours, I top them to keep the plant shorter and bushier. When you cut the top out of these plants, which I highly advise if you're growing them, uh, when you cut the top out of this plant, it produces the side shoots and it makes the plant stay shorter and stockier and bushier than very tall and gangly. Uh, with the weight of these peppers, it has a tendency to breaking off the stalks. So what am, my, my mix here, let me see if I can get you down here and do this without knocking the... We have Pro Mix amended with some organic... Tomato and vegetable fertilizer, and that's a 364. I've already mixed it up in the bag. That's what these uh, peppers plants are planted in in the 16 ounce cups. So I'll kind of just show you uh, how root bound they are. And I put the skewers in there yesterday to show me which ones I've already topped. So let's see if I can top this off of here. You can see how root bound that plant's getting. Maybe it's better to show you the roots over here. You can see that, and they're starting to spiral around the edges of the around the edges of the uh, container. There, Let's see if that's picking up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get us some soil. put in here and I don't I don't want to bury this plant any deeper than what it's buried here now tomato plants when I transplant our tomatoes I plant them a little deeper but your pepper plants you want to plant at the same level so we'll try to keep that like that and what I'll do is I'll just get in here and put a little dirt around the edges And this is our utility room where I actually our little grow room where we have all of our lights set up. We're running one, two, three, four, five lights for all of our plants. But the weather's been nice, so I've been able to leave things outside. The past three nights, I've left our all of our plants outside because we were in the 50s at night. So there we go. Let me see if I can tap that and get that soil down in there a little deeper. There we go. So there, there's one plant. Went from a 16 ounce cup to a 32 ounce cup. And we probably have another four weeks before I can get these out. Lord willing, it gets... Uh, we get the warmer weather we've had. We're supposed to be around 80 today and 80 tomorrow. But uh, by the end of the uh, the weekend, our temperatures are going to go back down into the high 30s at night. Which I'll set these out on the front porch because our, our porch is covered. And uh, they've been acclimated to outside. They've been outside for the past few nights. And they're doing pretty good. 
So we'll do another one. I've already got it marked. My giant Marconi tall. Last year we had a seven foot plant that produced the largest peppers and we had a four foot plant that produced the largest peppers because these were hybrid seeds that I saved from our uh, plants that we planted the previous year. We saved the seeds out of the biggest peppers and these are giant Marconi hybrids. I don't advise you to save your hybrid seeds, but I do it and this is the results. This is what we, we ended up with out of our, uh, out of our tall pepper our tall pepper plant, the peppers were about, I don't know, big around as that cup and about uh, 10 or 11 inches long. Let me let my dogs in. Come on. So, uh, and then the shorter plant, I have these marked with an S and these plants were four foot tall and they had... Uh, about the size diameter of that cup, believe it or not. I've got the videos in my playlist. You'll just have to go back to uh, our Harvest and uh, Giant Marconi's last year video, 2023. We've got several, I think 10 or 11 harvests we got off of those plants. But the four foot plant was right beside the seven foot plant. And they had the two, those were the two largest plants with the largest peppers. So uh, we saved the seeds out of the short ones too. So we've got those marked, and we've got these marked. And this year, what we're going to do is take a tall plant and plant it next to a short plant, and hopefully we can get some crossbreeding to try to stabilize this strain. Because these pepper plants in the store here last year were $5 plus tax, plus your gas to go get them. Uh, I had a subscriber to the channel said he found some this year, at his, uh, at his big box store, and they were $6 a plant. So we're going to try to get, get these things cross-pollinated, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get something around a five or six foot tall plant that has the best of both worlds. So let's see. Let's see how root-bound this guy is. I'm doing this over my bag so I can make as little mess as possible in here. But that's why we do this in our utility room. So there we go. You can tell your plant's root bound. When you can pick it up like that, you see all the roots around the sides. If it's picking it up. Do like this. Maybe we can get it up more in the light there. When you can see all those roots around the edges, it's almost completely white and they're starting to circle around the bottom of the pot. So that's when we know it's time to... Uh, Time to transplant. So let me get you back down here. And all we do, I take a cubic foot of this uh, Pro Mix, a five gallon round bucket, a standard size five gallon bucket is about a cubic foot. Uh, a cubic foot is 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches. So that's about what a five-gallon bucket. So I'll fill a five-gallon bucket with this soil, and I take an extra bag. I'll dump the, uh, the bucket back into an empty bag, and then I'll add one cup of uh, the tomato and vegetable fertilizer and one cup of worm castings, which it's over here on the side. I don't know where my bag's at. Maybe it's... Yeah, we've got a bag. we got a bag right here. So one bag of, uh, or one cup of worm castings and one cup of tom tomato and vegetable organic fertilizer to one cubic foot of soil. So that's what we use for our, that's actually what we use for our seed starting mix. I buy the Pro Mix in the big bales. It's cheaper than buying those tiny little seed starting bags. And we just amend the soil or the potting mix. And I'll put about this much soil in there because that's about the level I want it. I can keep it at the same level. And then we'll gently sit that in there, hold it in place, and we'll just sprinkle the soil around the edges where those roots are showing. So it should have plenty of room, plenty of room to grow for the next four or five weeks. 
uh, that we're going to have to keep them inside, and then I put them outside, outside during the day, and if it gets cold, we bring them in at night, but we've been able to leave them outside at night because of the 50 degree temperatures, and they're doing just fine. We don't have a greenhouse. Maybe in the future, when we, uh, when we're able to move out of the city, our goal is to get to the country at some point, but we'll just have to wait and see what the Lord does for us on that one. Right now, we're good with where we're at, but if we get out in the, in the country, I plan on building us some hoop houses. So there we go. There's two planted. And I'll show you again, this one's been topped also. I cut the tops out of them, the very top. I had a video in the playlist that I'm going to be, air, or that's going to probably, I'll, I'll upload that one first, and then we'll upload this one this weekend, this video. So uh, if you're growing these plants to get your maximum yield, I suggest topping them by cutting the very top out of that plant, that very top, and don't, it won't matter if you lose a leaf or two, but take that very top out. That'll make the lateral branches start coming out. It'll slow down the vertical growth, and that plant will be a lot shorter, bushier, and stockier to handle the weight of these plants. So we'll do one more. Let's see. We got about... This much soil, so I can see right there, it's about where we want to be. Move this skewer. Shake that, and I'll show you here. Good thing about having a utility room, or a room we're not using, I can just make a mess and clean it up while I'm done. Not that big of a deal. It's not on our good floor in the, in the kitchen. So you can see that, where these roots... Let me bring it in. They're starting to spiral around the bottom, so it's time to get these things transplanted. We'll just gently sit that thing in there, and that leaves about a half an inch all the way around that we can take this soil and loosely pack in there. Pack that down around the edges real nice. Tap the bottom and it just makes all that soil fall right down in the side. So there you go. Giant Marconi from a 16 ounce cup to a 32 ounce cup. And we get these cups. I can't find these in the store. We get them from a local uh, food service Corporation. It's called GFS, and you can order these online. I get a sleeve of 25 of these for about 5 bucks, and it's well worth the money if you're up planting your cups. If uh, you're in a different climate zone where you can go ahead and get your stuff out, and you don't need to up plant them from these, then that's, that's good. But here in Zone 5, we start our stuff early because our growing season is short. And we try to get the, 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 as many days of growing as we can. And that's why we up plant. We started them in a 5 ounce cup. Go to a 16 ounce cup. Then go to a 32 ounce cup. Then go outside. So there you go. Giant Marconis. Transplanted. And with any luck. We'll have some great videos of these plants growing. We're planting them on the other side of our, or on the, we planted them on the side last year that has never been planted with uh, pepper plants. And uh, we're going to go back to our garden boxes on the other side, which they don't do as well there, but we're going to see because we're planting potatoes over here this year where the giant Marconis were last year. So we're going to, 
We're going to rotate our gardening plot, put these in raised beds, and we'll see how well they do. So, Lord willing, we'll get some peppers this year. We'll keep you along for the ride. If you like the uh, content on the channel, like, share, subscribe, and follow us. Thanks for watching.